Finally, I've got a decent sprayer. Well, hopefully. It's annoying these tools that don't really fit in the box on the workbench. You can't sort of do an unboxing video when it's too big to fit on the bench and looks a bit complex in there too, doesn't it? Oh, um, I'll get it out and then I'll get back to you. Holy moly, what is that? Oh my god, it comes with the Bible. I have been noticing Makita's packaging has been getting more environmentally friendly. Much more paper and cardboard and a lot less polystyrene and plastic. Not a bad looking little unit, some assembly required. I'll get back to you in a month once I have, look how thick that is, once I have read the manual. Let's take a wee look here. It's at 30 millimeters thick. It's like almost an inch and a quarter. That is a hefty tome. So it's 18 volt, it's five liters. Trigger, trigger can be locked on. It has two heads and they rotate all the way around. 360 degrees, one of them has an on off lock on it there. So you can have one or two sprays. So you can have one go in one direction, one go in another direction, depending on what you're spraying. If you're spraying a hedge or something, you can have them going in different directions. It has an extendable lance, but it is a little bit disappointing. That's it. It's an extra about 7 inches or 180 mil. This is for hooking it on the unit and it can be put at any point on the lance and it slots into the unit like so on either side. So that's quite handy while you're using it and when you want to store it or something you can also clip it in the side like that. And I love this feature. You undo the cap and oh it's a measuring cup. So simple, such a good idea. Battery in, once the battery is in you can check how much life it has on the battery gauge on the top of the tool. So, oh there we go, one bar. I've gone and put a flat battery in. It's not a great way to start is it? Oh look at that, two bars on the battery. I've said it before and I'll say it again and I know it's a bit petty but it annoys me that they put four bars on the batteries and only three on the tools. It's, you know, just odd. On off button. Nothing happening. Probably because there's no fluid in it. Well, I guess I will fill it up and have a play. First of all, before I put the herbicide in it, I'm going to spray some of this ant barrier spray. I've never used it before, but it's summer here at the moment and the ants are going crazy. So I'll spray some of that around the place and then I'll give it a quick rinse out. And then I've got a ton of spraying to do. Hopefully the weather stays good. It's a little bit windy at the moment for spraying, uh, but I've got a heap of ivy to spray and various other weeds about the place. And I need a good, decent spray because I am fed up with using those poxy little pieces of junk that you hand pump. You can barely spray anything at all, block up all the time, and it's just a complete pain in the butt. At work we used to use a lot of backpack sprayers, the Solo ones, and they were like 10 or 12 litres. Put them on your back with the handle pump on the side there, just walk around pumping and spraying, pumping and spraying. Doesn't work too bad. Although they did leak a lot and instead of repairing them we just used to buy more. We had so many of them laying around. They'd only last about six months and we'd get a new one sort of thing. Um, hopefully this lasts me a bit longer than that. I'll try and look after it a bit better than that. I see Milwaukee now make a 15 litre backpack sprayer. Which I don't really have the need for anymore. This will do me fine this size. And I don't really want to stick something on my back anymore either. Especially that weight. It's going to be around 20 kgs when it's full of liquid. Who wants to put that on their back? Not me, not anymore. Anyway, let's get spraying. I have my ant spray measured out here, but I don't stick it in the side there. Oh no. To fill her up, you don't use that little hole. That's just for storing the cup. To get into it, you twist it like so, and lift her off. We now have easy access to the reservoir. You can see we have a filter sieve thing in there. Helps stop too much shit getting into your tank and clogging it up. 
So we'll tip in our spray. We would then normally rinse this and screw it back in here, but seeing as I'm making a video, I'll just screw it straight back in. Typical, eh? Just fucking typical. There's another one. Ah. This shit happens all the damn time. Every time I turn on the camera, dogs, sirens, car alarms, etc. This is normally the point where I would fill it up with the hose, but because we're making a video, I'm going to use a bottle of water here. It's not bottled water, it's been refilled. And I'll just give her a couple of litres. It's not the easiest plastic to see through, but I am filled up to this level here, which is two. One litre, two litre, three litre, four litre, five litre. Next we need to chuck the top back on. Make sure you thread the hose down through there. We've got a line here to line up where the tool goes. So it's just like that. Twists on. Ready to go. Well, once I chuck a fully charged battery in it. Six amp power, fully charged. I don't imagine this tool is going to use much power at all. By the time I'm finished, it'll probably still have four bars, I'm guessing. We'll see. I'm going to start off with just the one sprayer nozzle going because that'll be wide enough. Now there's a plane. I mean, come on. Life of a YouTube. It's a bit drippy. Dripping so much. Anyway, this is on sort of jet mode. Give her a twist. Turn her into a bit of a spray. That's better. Maybe we'll go slightly smaller spray. That looks like it might be about right for my purposes today. Let's go spraying. I think I need to come back to this bit with the weed killer. I now have her loaded up with herbicide and I've got the overalls on because it's still a bit breezy. I don't want to spray myself. So let's get stuck into it. drippy which is a, a tad annoying but then again every other one I've had done that too so I've just finished spraying the weeds and of course it's now starting to rain it hasn't rained for three or four weeks but that's Murphy's law isn't it now I'm a bit of a lazy bastard when it comes to cleaning out these sort of things so the way I'm doing it is I've chucked some water in it and I'll just um spray it out Hush. takes a second to pressure up and there we go Just pump a litre of water through it. Should hopefully clean out the pump and clean out the wand and all the nozzles and everything. Because the problem with um, leaving things like weed killer in, they, they form crystals and it blocks everything up. I'll show you how to clean the pump out in a moment. See that white chicken there? She's over 11 years old and she still lays eggs. Not many, but she does every now and again. She was a neighbour's chicken and it decided to move into our place and Neighbours came over several times trying to catch it and she just, they, no one could catch her, so she, she lives here now. And has done for 11 years. <laughs> and in case you didn't know, that's a really long time for a chicken. Most of our other chickens only lasted about 5 to 7 years. How you going Betty? You good? You still look pretty good for an old bird. Anyway, what was I about to do? When it comes to giving it a proper clean out, 
just here you have this red valve open that put your hose through there and you can cycle through the pump and clean out the inside just flush it out with your hose I'm not going to bother doing that because I just sprayed it out so with fresh water hopefully that's enough at full whack both nozzles open it goes through 900 mil a minute so that means you can empty this in less than six minutes so if you've got a super big property to do might be a bit small for you for me absolutely perfect it was quite fun I've actually um, sprayed a lot more than I intended to uh, in two weeks time half the garden is going to be brown instead of green but anyway it's got to be done every now and again doesn't it so I've cycled through about 18 litres of weed killer a couple of litres of the other ant stuff and shut up chicken and um, a litre or two cleaning it out so we're looking at 20 to 25 litres say and still the same battery and still saying fully charged so that will go in my new shed once I've finished building my shed the shed will be documented on the other channel at some point a couple of people have been asking about it it will happen maybe eventually there's a lot of digging to do anyway I like it I'm glad I bought it a couple of downsides it is a bit drippy but a lot of them are drippy you know the lances drip from the ends so just be careful that you don't leave it somewhere where it's dripping all over your your grass or something that you don't want to die it's very easy to open up like so and put back in like so very simple for that there's a tad annoying though when you take it off just got to be careful you don't put that anywhere dirty because you don't want to be sucking shit straight into the pump and it wet all the leaves good and proper and did it in a quick and efficient manner so yeah I'm happy with it Oh, and it does come with a shoulder strap, which connects through there and there, if you so desire. I don't feel you need it because it's not that big, it's not that heavy, and I'd rather just carry it in my hand, to be honest, and I can just plonk it down whenever I feel like it, and it doesn't hurt my shoulder. Fully loaded up, 5 litres, battery, everything. It's only about 8.5 kgs, so it's not too bad. So yeah, I'm happy I got it, and hopefully I will keep it a bit cleaner than I've kept other <laughs> similar devices in the past. And I guess that means there's just one thing left to do.